all right we are continuing right so now we have our server running and we've been able to connect to the database we need to find a way of connecting our various functionalities and our models basically everything that we have in our backend we need to be able to connect them to just one single source that is going to allow us to use these functionalities efficiently now one way to do that or in fact the only way to do that is to use your routes your routes are the things that combine together with your hosted domains to become the api endpoints that we hear all the time so we need to understand the concepts of routes in general right so knowing this i would want to create a simple home route here by typing app dot get then i have my path here then i'm going to call my two parameters which is my request and my response my request and response and then i have this now i'm going to quickly explain something here this app obviously is express and then this is my get method that i passed onto the express app it's it's available in the router package of express or in the router function of express right but whenever we are doing something like this in our entry file we just need app and then we pass on the routing method right which we in this case is get and then we have our path there as our first argument and then the second argument is the function we take our request and then the response the request here is basically taking something out of the client's actions and then the response is what we are sending back to the client after the client has asked for something right so there are a bunch of things right we can we can log request.body we can log request.body so as you can see if i do request that we can see a whole bunch of things right but most of the time most of the time most 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 of the time you'll be using request.body or request.params yeah most of the time right so let's not worry much and let let me just ex let me just show you a quick example or a quick use case of using app.get or using your get routes or using a route in general right so we have this home and then i'm going to send a response to the user saying that the back end works anytime the user goes to local ho local host 4000 right we would receive that response so i'm going to say res dot send rest dot send then my back end works right my back so anytime i go into any of my browsers to so it's already here so yeah as you can see my back end works it works perfectly fine we will be going to we'll be going to create models and their own routes and services and controllers just so we can write the functionalities for our e-commerce store but for now i would want to just create a sample user route just to explain how this whole modular functionality of using routes in our projects would work in our favor right so i'm just going to come into the server folder and then i would create a route i'll create like a route folder here and then inside my route folder pe people have different ways of creating their routes right i mean i could have one root one root route file like routes.js and then i would just you know i would just call my const 
I will just call my const router right and then I would say that we are getting the router from require express express dot router right require express dot router and then now that we have our router here we would want to say something like I want to we would want to create like a base URL type thing so I'm going to say const base URL or just base or something yeah so base so base would be a string that says API v1 then then after calling our API v1 we can basically export we can we can do a module module dot export for our router and then we can come into our server.js we can come to our server.js and then use app.use right so app.use app.use should use this path and then routes but where are we getting this routes from you're going to get this routes from this route so i'm going to i could like import it type thing so i can import routes here and then i would require the routes from a path now wh where which path I, I can import it from the route the routes folder and then i import this routes.js right so basically what we are doing here is under normal circumstances if we do not use um a base routes file now, i mean so what is one use case we can use here basically one use case that we can apply here is we can say that router dot use right then instead of writing our path here instead of writing our path here we can actually just use our back text right just to concatenate this base because obviously most of the time you see people writing their routes like local hosts i mean let me put in the full thing so http local local host local host then you have uh, 4000 in our case then you have api v1 v1 then you have some like users create users for example so it's yeah usually people would have this constant api v1 running through you know do like have this or caring and not caring but like maybe we want to change this to products yes if you get what i'm trying to say so in a situation like this we wouldn't want to keep writing api v1 api v1 api v1 so a more efficient way of doing this is to just store store it in a base or just store it in a variable basically and then you just pass it through so we would have something like this base right we would have something like this and then the base is going to be concatenated with the route of let's say a user so i'm going to say users and then which routes is this using so i'm going to use the user route so in case i have created a user route of which you let's create a user route here let's create a user route here real quick so i'm going to inside the same route folder i'm going to say user dot routes dot js right so inside my user dot route dot js i'm going to say something like so i'm going to basically require express sorry i'm going to require the router from express so i'm going to say express dot router no sorry 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 i'm going to require express first yeah i'm going to require express and then dot router right and then no i'm supposed to initialize this so after getting this part after getting this part i'm going to 
export my router right um module we got exports then my router right so i have this exported i i could just import it here right so uh, i could say that i could say const user routes to be equal to require let's require let's require from this path user.route.js right now that we we have got user.route.js we can now use it here right so basically any routes that we have in here so i, I could like i could basically create a simple route here saying router dot get um router dot get and i can set the path to create user so yeah yeah i mean for you to get you okay let me just do a get user so it makes more sense so i'm going to say get user then then i'm going to yeah i'm going to use my request and then my response then Yeah, so my request and my response and I'm going to say so I'm going to say user has been gotten uh, all right so we have this right basically what is going on here is we are using we are already using all the, the routes here right we are using them in our base routes file here and then we are obviously passing api v1 localhost users then user routes right so in our case if we want to use this api endpoint anywhere in our front end or something we would in in our case let me clean this up so no one gets confused in our case we would call something like api so we would call something like http localhost 4000 api v1 users then here we'll just use gets user i think we did user right i think we did user okay so get users let me change this to users so if we go to that route that i mentioned if we go to that route that i mentioned here we should be able to get the same response that we sent right so I'm basically going to go into this part of my desktop and then I'm going to paste this. Okay. Right. So if I. Yeah, because of this, let me just take that out. Right. Okay. Cannot get. Let me let me change something here. It obviously means something is wrong. So API v1 users get users. Let me change something here. Okay, so this is users and get users. Okay. Okay, this is four thousand. Okay. I'm going to have to apply this. so when we come here so yes user has been gotten so um, we obviously realize how easy this is how the trend works it's basically you it's basically you creating your route here and using it here but not just using it here using it here through this section now just in case you do not understand how this method works this is a much more uh, or a, a, a better or a scalable way of using your routes in your project right but another way someone another way someone would use his or her routes basically is not to use this routes file here 
but rather so say the person has created this route right the person will just come straight into server.js and then the person would so let me just let me not delete this let me just comment this out then the person would say that app dot use right app dot use and then the person is just going to call the path so say the person is going to use something like api v1 and then say users now if i if i'm using the users that i used here right i'm obviously going to make my second argument be the user for that i'm um, sorry the user route so user routes right but we've not imported the user routes yet so i'm just going to const import user routes require 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 the user routes okay so i think yeah so require the user routes from here right then if we go back into our browser here and then we refresh we should be getting the same response right so obviously we're getting the same response after refreshing so you can see that this is also another way it, it can work my only difference is that this is a much more scalable way that is if because if you have you could have projects where the routes are so many right let me do a quick so over here over here for instance like you could have multiple of these routes here we could have multiple of these routes so you could have multiple of these routes here right and you you see so instead of having these routes in their separate route file that is going to help you manage them you know more efficiently you, i'm cutting this and then i'm dropping it here i'm dropping it inside the server.js here and then you should see that now it, it makes the project more how do i call it? let me let me just take this out real quick now i'm trying to increase the screen I want to increase the screen here so you can see that we we now have much if more multiple lines of code if i undo this we have 37 but if i add it up we now have 58 and it's just, just going to flood your your entry file with a bunch of routes you know just keeping you confused and stuff not knowing how to where to find things and debug them right so a much more scalable way is the one that i introduced before yeah so basically this one that i introduced right taking this out this out and basically using just one root file for routes you know like you can basically handle hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of routes without any problem because you know that this is where you're keeping all your routes right it doesn't get mixed up so basically that's a scalable concept of using or handling routes in your project thank you very much for watching this section in the next section we're going to be handling stuff like creating our models and adding user authentication and all these things so make sure to stay tuned for the rest of them thank you